Alrighty, before we get this video started, I just want to make an announcement that I will be attending All Monsters Attack 2 Chicago SOS from May 5th through the 7th. I'll be there tabling, selling some art. In fact, it'll be some of the art you have seen me use for my thumbnails. So if you're in the Chicago area during that time, make sure to drop by and say hello. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I got a little bit of an unscripted and mostly unedited video. So yeah, you're going to hear some lovely mistakes from me uh, and you're going to either love it or hate it. But whatever, it's just a little unscripted video of me getting thoughts about the Gridman series. Yeah, don't, don't worry, I won't be doing that every time I say Gridman. But uh, yeah, this is just, you know, a little unscripted video where I'm just going to give just short reviews on each of the Gridman entries, not including the movie, uh, the, to celebrate the series 30th anniversary. And yeah, I'm actually recording this, you know, first part um, over again because the first time I recorded it, I... Uh, computer kind of freaked out and kind of missed a certain section so yeah I'm kind of just starting from scratch but yeah anyway on to the video and we're, we're gonna start with Gridman the Hyper Agent also known as Denko Jojin Gridman okay last time I promise all right so uh, when it comes to the original Gridman series, this is the first time I watched the series. I started back early last year and I finished it up. No, I'm sorry. I started it late last year and I finished it up earlier this year. And I came in wanting to really love the series. After, and I watched SSSS.Gridman around the time it aired. You know, so, but yeah, anyway... I, when I went into the series, I wanted to come in loving the series, and I came out thinking it was alright. It was okay. And I'm a little frustrated by that, um, because I don't know what it is that's really preventing me from loving this series, or it's just like... I loved Tsubaraya's work, especially with the Ultraman series. I probably should watch more of Tsubaraya's non-Ultraman entries, but I... I don't know. Gridman was not hooking me in like the Ultra series does. Uh, I mean, and it's frustrating because I can't pinpoint to anything I actively dislike. You know, I think the music was fine. The theme song, I uh, obviously I love that. The characters are, you know, nice. They're charming. Uh, you know, there's nothing to complain about them. You know, I even enjoy some of the side characters, especially uh, Naoto's dad, his father. I, I don't know. The antagonists are fine. I like the name Condigivire. Uh, the action is good you know it's i, I kind of like the aesthetic for the computer world and i love the how the kaiju have computer bits when there's like a piece of them that gets like chopped off or whatever you know and it's good you know i, I think there's only been like a couple episodes in the series where i thought i got really hooked in i thought okay this is a really good episode but overall it was okay Okay, you know, I it's just for me, it's just a little bit frustrating to, you know, I, I guess I, I don't want to think I came in with high expectations for the series, but it's more of just like my frustration lies again, you know, is that I cannot pinpoint on what aspect of the show is really me, really preventing me from loving it, like I do 
say, the Ultra Series and getting really hooked in. Maybe it has to do with that the show is clearly meant for a younger demographic, you know. That could be it. But I don't know. I think it, the show overall, it's it's good, you know. It does what it sets out to do all right. And there is some, you know, aspects to the show that are worth watching. Um, and I do recommend it if you tend to check out the SSSS dot series and I'll get to why in a bit but yeah you know it's just Gridman's alright just wish I could love it I don't know why I can't but with that out of the way let's get into SSSS dot Gridman like I mentioned before I watched SSSS dot Gridman around the time it was, you know, airing, you know, around the same year. So yeah, you know, I went to back to rewatching this after I finished the original series, and let me tell you, uh, on my rewatch, it made watching the original series so much more justifying because I felt like I enjoyed SSSS dot Gridman on my rewatch after watching all of the original series because it's just i was able to get more of the world and i and it makes it feel like that the original that the original series is required viewing to get the max amount of enjoyment for sss s dot grid man uh studio trigger is one of my favorite anime studios and they do a excellent job with the animation you know really great uh the series is also chalked full of fan service not just to the ultra series but to mecha and to transformer surprisingly i mean l i mean having all the human characters be or most of the ca human characters be designed after transformers is kind of ridiculous but awesome at the same time uh, I think my favorite character has uh, characters have to be Akane and Anti because I think they get the most development throughout the series. Uh, I do th think the weakest link to SSS S. Gridman is kind of just the protagonists. Not that they're bad or anything, you know. They just kind of serve their roles. They're, you know, with Yuta being the hero. Rika being the female, you know, lead, and Sho being the, you know, nerdy best friend. Uh, you know, they kind of just there to serve the roles, and you know, and that's fine. You know, that works fine. And I won't get into spoilers, but I, after watching the series, it actually, in a way, it makes sense as to why they're like that. Even though personally, like, even though, yeah, I get why, I still rather have seen the characters flash out. But overall, it was a really good time and definitely made watching the original, the original series worth it. And yeah, and of course, the action is spectacular. Uh, I also love their implementation of the 3D, like how they implement 3D technology into the anime uh just because like <clears throat> i guess here you know it's like the 3d is very purposeful in the way that they are trying to replicate the man in suit you know feeling to them so i really appreciate that um yeah so i could praise sss stock grid man more but i want to get to the last uh entry that i want to talk about which is SSSS.DinoZenon. Now, I watched DinoZenon for the first time literally not even a week ago, you know, a week ago that I'm recording this. So, this is probably the most fresh uh, out of the three entries in my head. And after sitting with it for a bit, I think this is my favorite entry so far. The movie still has yet to be seen in America. So, um, with that said, I think, yeah, I think Dino Zenon is 
my favorite entry and even though it doesn't have as much fan service as Gridman, what it does have is much better characters overall. Like I was more engaged with the protagonists here than I was with the previous two entries where I felt, you know, with the previous two, they were there to serve their roles, you know, and not much more. Um, and by the way, I, I forgot to mention how much of a love letter the SSSS. Gridman is to original series, and it, it was nice. And Dino Xenon, to an extent, is continuing that love letter, but I feel like here it's growing into its own thing as well. Like, it's not just a love letter. I, I'm not saying that Gridman was just a love letter, but I, I hope you get what I mean when I say that. It feels like Dino Xenon is like being its own thing at the same time we're just going more into like we still love the original and we're starting to branch out a little bit into doing our own thing anyway uh the strongest aspect i think were the characters uh like well, i was trying to get that until i got on a tangent <laughs> um about the love letter crap uh is that you know with Gridman Hyper Agent and SSSS Gridman the the protagonists specifically they felt there to serve their roles, you know, and just be those kind of tar you know archetypal arch blah blah. I can't speak, um, but just being the type of characters that they were design their designated roles were there. I don't. I'm not saying there wasn't more to them, but it's just. There wasn't that much to them, but here though with Dinozanon, they don't feel like their characters being put into roles. They feel like genuine characters, like three-dimensional characters. I was very much engaged with both the protagonist and the antagonist, you know, and they feel more real characters. Like, for example, the main protagonist here, Yamogi, compared to Yuda, Yamogi, you know, he's just like, he's not like a blank slate that Yuda was. Uh, he has his own life, you know, he has his own friends that we don't really get to see too much in the series. I mean, we do see them, but they're not an active part of the cast. You know, and it's just like, it's sort of nice to see how the characters are ha have their own stories that aren't really related to the whole kaiju dynamic the show's going with and i love the overall the overarching theme of about the past and regrets and also dinozanon makes an episode at least one episode of the original gridman much better with the character gamma i won't spoil spoil as to why if you haven't seen dinozanon um but yeah it's uh it really enhances the original gridman and i think that that's what a good sequel can like one thing a good sequel can do is that it enhances the original um or it makes something from the original more meaningful um but yeah overall i really enjoyed ssss.dinazenon I uh, I think my only complaint from Dino Xenon is I wish it was just maybe a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. And that's that's kind of a good complaint to have. So yeah, anyway, this those are my thoughts on the three Gridman entries. Uh, maybe I'll get into more of an analytical essay video for each of them. Probably not the original, <laughs> as you can probably tell. I, I don't really have that much to say, but who knows, you know, uh, right now I'm just kind of focused on Kamen Rider and Ultraman, uh, but yeah, I never say never, right? Um, and anyway, that's going to do it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, press the like button, if you, especially if you like Gridman, Subaraya's work and whatnot, dislike the video. If you hate Subaraya, if you hate Tokusatsu or Kaiju, um... Or you just don't like me. I mean, that last part's valid. <laughs> um, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I got more 
Toku related content coming up. I got an Ultraman video in the pipeworks. Uh, the next entry in my Ultra reviews. And also subscribe if you want to see some of my older videos. And yeah, um, keep a tab on me on my socials. I'll have the links down below. And yeah, that's it. I, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care and shoo-watch!